In this video, we're gonna go through some of the very best Nike boots that we've seen in recent times. You can join me in trying to remember the names of all of these boots. I also wanna know what your favorite boots are, so please let me know in the comments below. We're gonna start things off with these, an absolutely stunning pair of boots. They are only for Kylian Mbappe. He's been wearing them and scoring in them for France and PSG. They are his KM Flames. So these are his fourth signature editions, um, and they've got that kind of purple red upper, that flame type graphic on the side. A real nice touch is that silver aspect lights up and in the flash of a camera, so you can see that little extra bit. It's got that KM on the heel. It's actually quite understated for a signature edition, but overall they're a very nice boot to start this video with. Next, we're gonna move on to these, and these are in the recharge pack, so I wonder if you can guess what they are. If you look in the bag, they are the Superflies. They are absolutely clean. I love the combination of the blue and the yellow on the upper. Officially, it is Volt, that Nike Volt. Love to see that on boots all the times. Love the graphics that are on the bag and also on the sock liner as well. The uh, swoosh is trimmed with like a slightly darker blue, um, and that's also seen in the fly knit up through the top of the boot. And overall, I think these are a really cracking pair of boots. Seen them worn by Sancho and Ronaldo scoring goals for Manchester United in them. All right, another pair of boot that we, boots that we're seeing a lot of players wearing at the moment are these. These are the Phantom GT2s, they're in the low, and you're seeing the likes of Grealish wearing these. Um, they are a very nice boot. You've got um, the white at the sole of these. Now, interestingly, I wanna know, do you think that is blue or purple? Because officially Nike call it blue, but it's definitely not that same blue as we saw in the Superflies just before these. It does have that vault on these as well, so the swoosh and all that kind of stuff has that GT graphic at the back, and then you've got that flying it through the lacing area again. Overall, very nice boot, especially with that generative texture on it, quite popular with players, a big one. All right, so moving on to another pair of boots, and these ones we're looking at, these are the ones that Harry Kane has been wearing. They are a pair of Phantoms as well. These are the collared version. Harry Kane's been wearing the low ones, but they are the Shockwave, and it's definitely a shock. All those colors, the mix of the greens with the yellows, and then the black on the upper as well. Um, a pretty interesting boot to look at. Interesting, really, that Kane is the only player that's really been seen wearing these. It's got a really nice silver on the Nike swoosh there that hopefully you can see. Generative texture over the top of these as well. And the other Nike swoosh on here looks good as well. I'd actually be super tempted to consider blacking these out and just leaving those um, silver swooshes. I think that would look pretty good. You'd still have that standout green sole plate with those. All right, the next pair of boots we're looking at are another pair of Phantoms. The Phantoms have just been flowing out, really. And these are the Phantom UVs. So these were made only for kind of up and coming players. No contracted players are actually seen wearing those, which again is a kind of interesting release. But you've got like a darker blue on these. Then you've definitely got a purple on there and then kind of the orange through the middle as well. So that's that Phantom GT2 design, the graphic of it, the way they separate out, separate out the sections of the boot. It has the um, GT kind of heel logo again. And then it has that white swoosh paired on that dark blue background. And then you've got the purple on the bottom. Overall, quite a nice boot to look at. All right, number 19. What have we got here? We've got a boot that a ton of players have been wearing. The likes of Erling Haaland have been in these. And interesting, if you just notice on these, these are the AG versions. So you can see what the AG elites look like here. They are the motivation pack Vapor 14s. And you can see the yellow and the red combined on here. A little bit of black as well. Black on that um, heel tab. And you can see the kind of construction under the boot, the way they've highlighted some of those aspects under the yellow. I actually really like the yellow. I think it stands out on pitch. Really nice, real popular with players to be worn. Right, another pair of boots that came out at the same time. These, and these are the Motivation Pack Phantom GT lows. So the likes of Phil Foden's been wearing these. And... Um, Harry Kane wore these as well. Again, these are the artificial ones as well though. So compare those to the Phantoms that we saw earlier in the video. Um, and I really like the colorway of these. I think the white block at the top and then the orange and the yellow looks really nice on these. And these were kind of the launch ones for the start of the 21-22 season. Really nice. You've got the generative texture on the upper. Look at the little detail on the Nike swoosh with the Nikes written into it as well. A nice little touch there. All right, next pair of boots. They are in this same pack and they're a pair that you would have seen rocked by um, Virgil van Dijk. They are the Tiempo Legend. These, again, are the AG versions, so check out the Tiempos that you see later in the version to see um, firm ground versions. But again, you've got that lovely white clean upper on these, which is great for a leather boot. And then you've got the orange around the heel and then the yellow in the swoosh. A really nice release, a classic white boot, really. And well done to Nike for these. Also, the Renew Pack black ones came out at a similar time as well that were seen. Talking about Renew Pack, here we've got these. They've got the blue and the black combined. Interesting detail on these is you can get a camera, take a picture and that swoosh will flash up 
really nice and bright. Interesting, quite a few people have been going ahead and blacking these out, which I think is a great thing to do. Take out that blue, take out that swoosh, make the whole boot black. That's what a lot of people want in their leather boots. Absolutely classy, a really nice touch indeed. And then it has that Tiempo logo around the heel, which actually looks quite good on these. Quite like the design of the Tiempo 8. All right, now we're looking at a pair of boots that were brought out around the Olympics. These were part of the Rodacious pack. So Nike Vapor 14s we've got here. And the colors on the sole plate in these are just incredible. And then it's got that white upper with little details that you can see through it. Interesting change to the Nike swoosh for this. So this happened in a lot of the Olympic boots from Nike. You've got the Mercurial on the heel and you've got that little heel tab again for the Vapors. And then that kind of double swoosh there, the black with the, then the yellow on top of it. And you've got the details again of this boot showing through under the upper. A really nice classy white release. Now the rest of the boots in the Rodacious pack were also white as well. And these ones we're looking at are the Phantom GTs. Now, as you can see, these are the original GTs there before we moved onto the GT2s. Oh, actually, I'll take it back. These aren't, these are the GT2s, but it's very subtle. You can just see that design split across the upper on these. Nice swoosh design. And yeah, it's the very faint kind of gold almost that separates the white sections. A very clean boot. Again, it has that kind of ziggy zag swoosh over the front. Just that kind of almost drawn on effect to it, which is really quite nice. And then it has the new Phantom GT2 heel logo. The sole plate on these is really clean as well. Pops out really nicely. Okay, another pair of boots. What have we got here? We are going to the Impulse Pack. And these are the Vapors in the Impulse Pack. So these are the boots that you've seen a lot of players wearing at Euro 2020, the main summer tournament of 2021. And they have this kind of turquoisey green. It's almost like a mint to the upper. And then there's another green paired in with that as well. Kind of like an aqua look to these boots. Actually works quite well together. A lot of players were, were seen wearing these, as I say, on pitch at the main tournaments of the summer. It has that slightly different Mercurial logo on the heel, that kind of arrow aspect of it pointing forward. And then again, you can see some of the details of the boots and the holes in the um, construction through the boot. Overall, a, a very nice boot indeed. Okay, so another pair of boots that were in the Impulse Pack are these, and these are the Phantom GTs. And this time around, they are the Phantom GT ones. So you can see that slightly different design to these. There's really not much of a change between the twos and the ones, but it does um, have that generative texture on there again, and it's just the design. So what happens is you've got just that little graphic going around the front, and you can see it there with the Phantom GT and then it rolls around. You've got the blue swoosh on these, the black then goes around to the front and then you've got your swoosh um, around the front as well. It's kind of subtle actually, the one at the front doesn't pop all the way through. I think that's because the generative texture itself has been accented in the black. And then you've got that triangle design that they used on the heel of those, which is a slightly different thing again, design wise overall, very similar boot though. All right, we're making our way through. Please let me know your favorite boots in the comments below. We've got quite a few more to go. And now we are looking at the Tiempos. And as you may notice, these are the Tiempo 7s. So they're before we moved on to the 8s, and these are in the Impulse Pack again. A whole bunch of players wearing these at the Euros. Virgil van Dijk would not have been wearing these because I think he was injured at the time. So you've got that aqua kind of through the upper. It goes all the way across the leather. The leather then goes to that point where you can see the stitching change. And then you've got the Tiempo around the heel here with that kind of Tiempo logo. So that's what Nike did. They put slightly different um, heel designs for each type of boot and they had kind of things connected to that boot silo. So the Tiempo had the circle and the triangle was on the Phantoms. All right, so we're gonna look at another pair of boots that we saw at the Euros. These were for one player and one player only. Cristiano Ronaldo, he wore these. These were his Spark Positivity Pack boots and they've got that red upper, the lightning bolt graphics across it and that kind of white silver tied in as well. They didn't get as much pitch time as I would have liked to see them, perhaps not showing off as much. Ronaldo moved into his CR110 boots, but I think these are a great signature edition for him, a very nice boot indeed. Now talking about signature editions, this is the Skepta boot. I mean, it was a boot for, I think it was Marcus Rashford, but he didn't get a chance to wear them. No, sorry, Mason Greenwood, but he didn't get a chance to wear them at the Euros because he was injured and he didn't make the England squad. So he would have worn them at the Euros, but he didn't. But these are the Skeptas. It's got that kind of butterfly design in it. It's tied into the UK grime artist. Um, he helped design them. The swoosh on these is really nice. It has that Phantom T GT design again, but you can just see that kind of butterfly print going across the red. The combination of the red and the black is really nice. And it's just, again, a shame that these boots didn't get as much pitch time as they could have because the Phantom SKs were a really nice release. And yeah, I think Mason Greenwood got to wear them for Manchester United just near the end of the Premier League season, but he didn't get on pitch with England, unfortunately. All right, another pair of boots we're looking at are these. They are called the Silver Safaris. 
and they are tied back into the safari design that we've seen on Nike boots and shoes going back into the past. These are the Vapor Edition and those um, safari prints do flash up in the a flash of a camera. You've also got through that band through the middle there, you've got them in the yellow, which is a nice touch just to accent stuff again. Again, another boot that perhaps didn't just get seen enough. These are so nice. There was also a Superfly version made available as well, but you didn't see the likes of Ronaldo or anybody like that wearing them. A little bit more player support, they would probably have been a much bigger boot than they were. The next pair of boots we're looking at were a big boot. These are the Mercurial Dream Speed 4s. So you've seen the likes of Ronaldo wearing these and um, Erling Haaland wore a Vapor version. He didn't um, have the ones with the collar, but you couldn't buy those at retail. The graphics on these are so good. The swoosh is so good. You've got, and these are tied into like rockets blasting into space or something. It'll be interesting to see whether we get a Mercurial Dream Speed 5 in 2022 or not. No indication yes or no on that at the moment, but it is a good series. It's a great way of tying in Mercurial players. So we hope to see that if we can. All right, another Mercurial that we saw this year is the Spectrum Pack. So these were a nice red pair of boots tied in with the green accent and that just a little splash of blue on the Aerotrack sole plate. Um, that was the only blue, blue that you saw on the boots. The green um, Nike swoosh stands out there. And then the blue was actually hidden under the upper in the construction of the boot, so you can sort of see it coming through again. And then you've got that big Nike swoosh in the green as well. The Flyknit tab is in green on the Flyknit area of the boot as well. And that was a pretty popular boot that we saw from Nike with the Spectrum release. There were other boots in the Spectrum pack and they included these, which are the Phantom GTs. They are quite similar to me to the Impulse ones that we saw a little bit later earlier on in the video, but these are real like blue. A lot of players were seen wearing these. You got Harry Kane, Foden, Grealish, all those kind of players were getting into these. Um, this is the low version. It has that really nice silver swoosh. Then the silver goes through into that Phantom GT band that goes all the way around the toe box. Another really nice um, silver swoosh on these as well. And then the generative texture is highlighted with um, the silver in and around that as well. And the little aspects of green seen on the stud tips and also the sock liner and that Nike lo logo on the top. These boots, really, really clean pair of Tiempos. We're talking about white clean boots and we've seen the ones um, just a bit earlier, but these are even wider. These are the Chimpo Legend 7s in the white. They have those little hints of green on the stud tips. You've also got it through the fly knit in the middle of the boot. Um, and then you've also got that lovely, nice pop-out green logo of the Nike on there and the Tiempo on the heel. A very clean leather boot. I mean, you really can't go wrong with those. Uh, nice one to pick up if you can. So guys, remember, please tell me your favorite boots in this video in the comments. We have got three to go and we are looking at these. They are the Black X Chili, I think the name of this pack was. They were the Black X Chili and they were Blackout Superflies. Oh, sorry, Black X Prism. Chili was a little bit earlier. Black X Prism. And so you've got a lovely kind of color fade on the swooshes from that red to the yellow. A really nice touch. So these are complete blackouts. You can see a little bit of the construction of the boot coming out through that black mesh upper as well. So that pops through as well. And then you've got the much larger swoosh on these as well. A really nice boot. And if you wanted to, you could black them out all of the way. And they're just on the Aerotrack sole plate itself is the one aspect that is always going to have that little pop of color, but a very nice option. All right, another pair of boots we're looking at are these. And these are part of the launch of the Mercurials for 2021s. These are the Dragonflies. Called that because of all of those different components all those different colors put together. They're available in the Superfly as well. Ronaldo wore the Superflies. These have got a beautiful Aerotrack sole plate and you've got all those different colors, as I say, through all the different aspects. They're all numbered on the boots. You can see all the different bits that go together into the boot. You've got the number sevens, the fly, fly knit there. And then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six as well. You've got those speed wings. These have got the heel tab as well. A, a great way to launch the Mercurials. It'll be interesting to see what we see from the Mercurials in 2022. And then the first boot that we saw in 2021 of the um, Mercurials from Nike, any Nike boot, was these. They were the LeBron James and Kylian Mbappe kind of combined the chosen and it had both of their logos on it. It had the double Nike swoosh, which is a nice thing as well. Another boot that just didn't get seen enough. They're not quite a, a KM signature edition, but they had so many great little graphics. Even the upper has their logos melded into one. A really fantastic release. Right guys, please let me know your favorite boots in this video. I uh, look forward to seeing lots more boots in 2022. Go enjoy your football.